Okay. Um, it usually helps me uh, to put the facts together if I know what the question's looking for. Find the speed of the two truckers. So we got two different truckers and drive at different speed. Uh, Saul drove his truck for three hours from Dallas towards Kansas City. So here's Dallas. Here's Kansas City. Saul is driving in this direction. Doesn't say he made it there. It says he drove three hours and then stopped to get dinner. And at the truck stop, he meet, meets another trucker, Erwin, who has driven four hours from Kansas City towards Dallas. So Erwin, st uh, uh, from, he's driven four hours from Kansas City. This is my Kansas City here. I should have labeled it Kansas City and Dallas. They meet up here in the center. They're both together, right? So I know if I add their two distances together, then it should be the total distance from Dallas to Kansas City. So if we were to take uh, Saul's distance and add Irwin's distance, that should equal 542 miles because it says the distance between Dallas and Kansas City is 542 miles. And we know how to express distance. Distance is a rate times a time, assuming that we're driving at a constant rate. So Saul's distance is going to be, let's split this off. Saul's distance is going to be Saul's rate, which I'll call r sub 1 because there's going to be two different rates going on. Uh, and he's driven r sub 1, and he's driven it for three hours. Irwin's distance is going to be. Erwin's distance is going to be Erwin's rate, we'll call r, r sub 2, times 4 hours. If you add these together, if you add the distance Saul traveled plus the distance Erwin traveled, that should equal 542 miles. So we can't solve right now, actually. r sub 1 and r sub 2, they're different. They can't combine with one another because they're totally different speeds and we don't know what they are. What we have to do is go back and read through the problem and see if there's some information so that we can make this equation have just one type of variable. Erwin's speed was 8 miles per hour slower than Saul's speed. Okay, so Erwin's speed here, r sub 2, that's Saul's speed just subtracted by 8 because it's 8 miles per hour slower. So that's probably the hardest but most important part of this problem. And we're going to write this as 3r sub 1, right? Because the order you multiply it doesn't matter. We just usually see the constant right here. So if you're okay with that part, uh, if not, you know, message me and we can talk about it or check out another video where I do this substitution a couple of times in these types of problems. Um, now we can distribute the 4. So that makes 32. And now we can combine like terms. 3r sub 1 plus 4r sub 1. That makes 7r sub 1. Then we can add 32 to both sides. So I'm running out of room. I'm just going to do it in my calculator. 542 plus 31. That makes 573. And then the last step is to divide both sides by 7. So. Saul's rate, that r sub 1 that we identified, uh, comes out yucky. Let me double check the answer. 81.86 miles per hour. I found the mistake here. When I added, and that's, that's why it's not good for me to try to go too fast, isn't it? Because when you add 32 to both sides, it should be 74. I don't know where I got the 73 from. So let's try dividing that. 574 divided by 7. Oops. 574 divided by 7. 82 miles an hour. So that is uh, the first trucker, Saul's speed. And Irwin's speed was 8 miles per hour slower. So Irwin's speed, which we let be r sub 2, is just 8 miles per hour slower. So 74.